Hello kids, today we're reading a second story of the book, Yasmin the Painter. Aside from me, Jenny, who usually tells the story, this time we have two guest speakers, Cindy and Julia. Chapter 1, The Announcement On Monday in art class, Miss Alex made an announcement. We're having an art competition on Friday night. I hope you all enter. The winner will get a special prize. Everyone was really excited. Everyone but Yasmin. Yasmin was worried. Well, let's just say that she wasn't very good at art. Her circles were always lopsided, and her heart never looked like hearts at all. Uh, what's the prize? Allie asked. Well, that's a surprise. Miss Alex replied. Yasmin frowned. On Tuesday evening, Baba came home with a box. Yasmin, I have a present for you, he called. Yasmin ran downstairs. What is it? A new puzzle? A crafts kit? Baba helped her open the box. Oh, said Yasmin, paint! Yes, for the art competition on Friday. Look, there's an easel and canvas too. Baba said. Yasmin wrinkled her nose, but she said, Thank you, Baba, and took the supplies upstairs. Chapter 2 Yasmin Makes a Mess. On Wednesday after school, Mama showed Yasmin videos of famous artists. There was a man with a bow tie painting trees. There was an old woman painting mountains. Yasmin thought of her own messy, ugly artwork. She sighed. <sighs> I'll never be as good as they are. Mama smiled. It's okay, Jane. You only have to try your best. But Yasmin still wasn't ready to paint. And then on Thursday, Mama said, Yasmin, finish your schoolwork while I make dinner, all right? Yasmin watched a video of the man with the bow tied again. He made it look so easy. She decided to give it a try. She set the easels and paints and tried to copy him. A tree was easy, wasn't it? No. Maybe a little flower? No. Her picture looked nothing like the ones on the video. Yasmin stomped her feet in frustration. <laughs> Oops, everything scattered around her. What a mess! Then she noticed something. Yellow paint has splotched on the top part of her canvas. She thought it looks like the sun. So she took some brown paint and splashed it on the canvas too. Then she splashed some blue paint. Then some green paint. Soon Yasmin's idea was taking shape. Chapter 3 Competition Day on Friday night, Mama and Baba walked with Yasmin to her school. It was, um, weird, but exciting. 
you know, to go to school at night. Miss Alex has decorated the cafeteria with balloons. Welcome, children," she said brightly. "I can't wait to see what you've created." Yasmin had a strange feeling in her tummy, like a hundred soda pop bubbles. Principal Nguyen was the judge. He looked at Ali's mountains and Emma's basketball, and he carefully studied each student's work. Hmm. Yasmin pretended to drink her punch. Mama squeezed her shoulder. Don't worry, your painting is beautiful. Soon, Mr. Newton tapped the microphone. Um, the winner of the competition is Yasmin Ahmad. Yasmin couldn't believe it. Her splotchy metal painting had won. But wait, what was the mystery prize again? That's when the man entered the cafeteria. It was the painter from the video. You know the one with the tie that was painting the tree. He said, "Yes, man. So nice to meet you." For your prize, I'll be giving you a painting lesson next week. I have to warn you, I'll probably make a mess. Yasmin replied. He laughed. <laughs> Don't worry, I will too. And that, my friend, is the end of Yasmin the Painter. For more stories, there's Yasmin the Explorer, Yasmin the Builder, and Yasmin the Fashionista. All in one book, too. That's it for today. See you next time.